off. I've seen him swap off once, and he lost that Ooh. game still, I think. So I don't think he's going to switch it's off of that. It was, like, it was like Glush and Tribe last, I think, but he's not going to do that right now. All right, we got the split screens going. Thank you, Ooh. 2G Gaming, for that assistance. Based J-Max. Yep. Shout out to that, man. So it looks like Twin 5-0, of course, starting off with the zoning. You'll see what he'll do is just basically wait in that shield mode, get that super dash in, and then try and get some kind of uh, movement in like that. Oh, nice break of that, of that grab there. Mm -hmm. When you're in fr frozen mode, you're basically doing a big mix-up thing. It's like, are you going to grab? And I'm going to break your grab by throwing out arms. Because your arms are still functional when you're frozen. So it's a matter if you're going to break them. Yeah, Yeah, but they're very, very slow. So even if you try to break the grab, even if your reactions are on point, you might not get it just due to the distance, you know, because they, they, you come out a little bit slower. Yeah, that's why a lot of people, when they're in frozen, they'll uh, creep up a little bit, get that distance closed Ooh, in. Ooh, and an immediate rush up. picks them up. Woo. 370 damage and the extra 20 oh at the bottom. Dude, he flew so high after that wind rush. I think you broke the game game camera. <laughs> yeah. I think you broke it. All right, has putting himself in the corner though. Both of these two pretty much even, but Twin 5 does have his own rush online. And I'll, let me tell you, the Biffler into the Ice Dragon does a lot of damage when it gets fully connected, just like right here. Oh, here we go. oh, oh but he doesn't, he doesn't get the Ice Dragon follow-up. What they'll do is that because they're both uh, mono rushes, is that the Biffler will pop them up, and then the Ice Dragon will finish it up before they uh, land on the ground. It does like a good 380 or something. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of damage. It's, it's, honestly, it's honestly way too much for, for kind of how you can Oh, again! With that parry into the rush, and I think that has no, he's gonna be the next hit here. The one, yeah. ten seconds left on the clock. He's got a tick of HP that's just out there, and so <laughs> just that's how you twin that. tell. Yeah. You slow it down. You go, okay, I'm gonna take all the time I want. <laughs> React, bah, right yep. in the face. You break that grab, and the Hydra just goes right Ooh. in his face. God, that's so high. That's so good. That's so yeah. good. It's like I'm gonna go for that grab. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, Hess doing good so far. Takes the first round. We'll see how He's this goes for the second today. He's been on fire. Yeah. Avoiding these bifflers. Yeah, just getting those guards up in time. Oh, but gonna get knocked down. He's going that spacing. So Hess is gonna put himself in kind of a weird position here on the corner. He's playing the pillar. Ooh, gets right around that pillar, and both the biffler and the eye tracker connect. Gonna be a lot of damage so far. Both of them with their rush online, though. So. One can easily turn it around, and you can see Hess just slowly trying to creep up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is like he's walking up. He's like DLC status right there. Yeah. Uh, the Ice Dragon wasn't able to sweep. He was just able to get around that. Yeah, but so far, Twin 5 0, his defensive play has been amazing so far. Only been hit once by a single arm. And he's uh, looking to opt to continue that strategy of it working against Hess so far. And that's what makes like, DNA such a like, hard. Uh Hard stage when you're playing against Zola, because you have so much room to move around. Yeah. There's, there's a couple corners, but I mean, it's just the distance that you can put uh, between you and the other player just makes it very, very difficult. Yeah, the size of that rectangle is pretty significant, and of course, also the, the stairs and the high and low grounds. It's a, yeah. lot of the, a lot of stuff to keep in mind when does, playing on this stage. It does affect. Ooh, <laughs> nice grabs right, threads that needle. Yeah. Just finds the right moment. Oh, no. I could have been a big finish with that. There we go. So there's that slowdown again. The star struck. The break of the grab. Oh, nice. 18 Good. seconds left. If he pulls out a rush and maybe one grab, he pulls oh. out the rush there, though. Here comes the guns. Yep. 350 damage. Exit 20. Uh, I think he barely has more health than him. Oh, oh but the yeah. knockdown. Six seconds left on the clock. Gonna go Five, for the timeout. Four. Oh, my God. Oh, Ooh, it just knocks him down again. No fear. Hess is on it today. Oh, my. Yep. Sweet Jesus. When you go oh. into those last five seconds of the match, this is a big game. It's like, are you going to shield and try to, and try to break my grab at yes. the last second, or are you just going to go aggressive? And Hess just, yeah, like you said, no fear. If he missed that, then he was, he was about to get punished immediately. Yeah, that would have been it. That would have been it. Yeah. That definitely would have been we it. We would have been on round three. But so far, Hess takes the first game. Yeah. All right, looks like they go on Tumble Grounds. One of my favorite uh, stages, I would say, is one of, the, one of the best stages. Second, in my opinion, to Ribbon Ring. Mm -hmm. Because you have... A little bit of verticality, not too much that makes it unfair, like on, say, like a, well, not unfair, but like it's really annoying to play against, say, like a. Like in Scrapyard? I was going to exactly say Scrapyard. Yeah. Uh, but you also have the pillars too, right? But not too many. So you, you, know, you got a little bit of room to play there. So yeah. it's definitely a good stage to take anybody. Um, we'll see if this will make a difference for, for Twin 5 0 here. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of a wider space, and it's one big curve in two corners instead of four, so maybe it will be able to help him out with his zoning game. But right now, these two pretty much even, but has been throwing out a lot more arms, so he's able to get a meter a little bit faster. It's that, uh, it's that, uh, it's that rush farm, you know? Yeah. Gonna plant those seeds real early. 
All right. Ooh, Ooh he just went way back. But he might have been just trying to charge uh, Rush so that he could uh, get that full meter. Gets the Ice Dragon in. It's not charged, though, so he won't get the freeze in the property. Corner. He's going to get the punish. He does again. Again, oh. but the pillar did break it, so he didn't get the full damage off of it. Yeah. I'm not sure why he pulled out his own rush. Maybe it was just a, a, a panic thing when he when he saw that rush is coming it out. Had because been a reaction. had to been a reaction. Yeah, because he Hess uh, for sure was going to win that trade no matter what. He might have been planning that maybe Hess was going to go into like, a star circuit to a dash and decide to maybe try to avoid something. Yeah. Ooh, like had a bit, a little bit of a scrimmage there, but the... Uh, the arms need to be broken here. Yeah, the, the, the pillars were able to save him from getting a little bit too scary. Both these two almost about to get rush again, he almost <laughs> immediately. Yeah, slow down. Yep. No grab. Oh, he tries to rush. I, I don't know if that was kind of the best idea. He's trying to get something here, but is that slow down again? Yeah, I think that definitely was a defensive play on his rush because he was frozen and he knew that something was going to happen, so he was just trying to get arms that could beat out uh, right. Twins' offensive options while he was frozen. But I mean, he, he did have enough space that if he did throw out, you know, a grab easily could have been broken. Yeah. So it might have just been a little bit of a scramble there for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's going to start uh, round two with no rush and twin looking real good, starting off with rush. And he's going to be uh, playing with no pillars, so there's a lot more space for him to roam around. Ooh, the grabs have broken up, nice, and nice. he's going to get the knockdown. <laughs> Both of them just charged and was in shield right in front of each other. Neither of them wanted to crack. It's that stare down. It's, uh, it's that classic stare down you get sometimes. Yeah. Who's going to move first, you or me? Yep. Blind comes out, just being very careful, but the oh. arms get broken. And that's one of the scary things about the Biff is that because he's being charged up, you can't see anything. You know, you got you know, a couple couple of peak poles here and there you can see too, but it makes it very, very, very difficult to see where the moves are coming from. Yep. And this is what I'm talking about. Biffler knocks them up, and then Ice Dragon's able to finish off that amount of damage. He gets 330 there for his troubles. The knockdown. Oh, nice grab. Oh, yeah. That was really nice. Called out the defensive option and just was two steps ahead. Pulls out his own oh, rush, catches him in the go. air. Oh, gets it. 335 damage. Just a sliver of health left for Twin 5 -0. Try and take this next round, but Hess is gonna just break that there, and we're going to round three. This is like I think the third time that he's got around like that. Yeah. Right in his face, stra struck. Honey. He's just so good at knowing where he's gonna dash or super dash and be able to catch that. You can see he's already trying to predict uh, where he's going in his next uh, couple of movements, and he's keeping him in the corner. Really smart stuff so far. Advanced playing some uh, some 40 chess right here. Yeah. With those with his hard reads. That Biffler's, Biffler's gonna catch him just a little bit. Ooh, the Ice Dragons are just catching him as he's trying to go on the aggressive. Yeah, Hester's trying to keep him in the, in the corner here. Throws him out, though. That's one of those things in the corners that you either fight your way out or you just hold your shield and see if you can maybe, maybe eat a throw and get yourself thrown out of the corner, which in, in this game is kind of tough because the damage in the throws is, is, is pretty high. It's yeah. pretty high. Both of their rushes just battle it out there, so only about 60 damage <laughs> for each of them. Not going to get too much off of it. So both of them are just going to reset and pretty much at even meter right now. Oh, there's a freeze. Oh, yeah. Going to get on the knockdown again. Twin looking like he's going to try and get this next round in, but he just waits. Good block, good block. Yeah, Twin 5 trying to go for ice loops instead. Does not able to find it. Stay patient. Oh, double rush here. Oh, Ooh. okay, there, there we go. Yeah, able to break it. The damage does 310. The bit, the, the, the bit off of it, yeah. Ooh, and the cooler ring again. Or not cooler ring, boomerang. Excuse me. Dude, I mean, some of these things look so similar, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that <laughs> rush will be able to finish it off, and Twin will be able to get uh, game two. All right, there we go, there we go. So he's, he's, uh, he's on the map. He's, he's got one going. He's, uh, so he's kind of found his groove a little bit. Yeah. And uh, we'll see where it continues to go. I'm really curious to see what stage has decided to go with this time. Is it going to go back to DNA? Yeah. Or something? Or maybe go something completely different? Ninja College. Obviously, Ninja College. What game is this? What game? <laughs> Snake Park. <laughs> oh. Let's go on Snake Park, guys. I'm done. I'm, done. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. They just gentlemen to there. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, uh, yeah. Snake Park, sir? Okay, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. For the fans. For the fans. <laughs> All right. Buster Beach. Here we go. Buster Beach. Very interesting stage here. Not too big, right? Uh, a lot of corners in it. Mm-hmm. A little bit of elevation on the back. We'll see. I mean, we'll see where they end up. Yeah, and that bench in the middle can uh, interrupt a Lola Pops of movements. Kind oh, of, yeah, she can yeah. sometimes get stuck on that bench uh, when she's trying to do the super dash if you're not like in the right elevation to be able to jump over it. All right, Hester just playing a little bit of spacing, trying to find a little bit of damage here. Go for that knockdown. Ooh. Yep. Cautionary sign comes up. That arm is looking a little bit weak. You can see Hess is kind of aiming for it. He's not able to find anything. The Sign will fade away. Yeah, it's trying to 
Oh, there he comes again. I mean, this is, uh, that's one of the dangers of the curved arms that even if they don't hit you, they're still doing some damage. Oh, okay, nice only rush. able to get 70 damage off of that, but it's still better than nothing. You got something, right? You got something. Yeah. It's not like you got punished for rushing instead, <laughs> because that's always the worst. It's like you wasted your meter, and, and I'm going to get blown up here. Oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that was a... That was a point blank grab. That should have been broken immediately, and that should have been a big punish. But I don't know. I just saw some hesitation for Twins or something, so he's able to get out of that scot free, basically. You gotta commit, man. When you're that close and you see it coming out, you have to commit to it. We see the parries coming out from Hess. You know, he's trying to bring himself a little bit closer after deflecting that ice dragon, and he's gonna go in for the rush. Only gonna get chip damage though. I was worried about that. That super dash for the Biffler again. Yeah. This is a quick punish that you can get at the end of the rush if you know that the uh, rush is going to end and you can't throw out any more arms. There's a, oh, there's a bit for there. Oof! Just catches oh, him again and gets the hit confirmed. Yep, that's really nice. Good conversion right there. Oh, that extra 20 damage. It builds up, it builds up. Yep. Oh, on the knockdown with the Hydra, though. But Hess has got a long way to go. Oh, we actually go to time, but he's still able to close out yeah. that round. Unfortunately, at a certain point, if you're that low of a deficit and that low on time, there really isn't much you can do to bring it back up. Yeah. I mean, um, it was just it was just a super, super long yeah. round. Mm -hmm. He could have literally just held shield those last three seconds, and there's not enough uh, DPS to be able to yeah, exactly. finish off the round. Yeah, what, it's, like, it's like three seconds of nice rush. Oh, he's not... He's not able to get the Chilla to it might bring be him back on the, the ground. Elevation. Maybe because he's a little bit higher up on that. Yeah, you'll see if they use a flurry rush and a mono rush. What they try to do is they use the flurry rush to keep them standing in place, and then the flurry rush or the mono rush will finish off the damage that they want. Not quite happening here though, but still has keeping up a very strong advantage. Still got 50% of his life uh, taken away from Twin Five O. Oh, that could have been a big match right there. Try to dash in there. That's the, that's the danger sometimes. Like, you try to get in and then you just get continuously keeping out. Was it just waiting there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Just, just come to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm having none of this. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Both of them aren't get deflected. No rush, though. The boxing going on. Oh, he got the ice property in. Oh, but he had oh, rush. No. I don't know why he did that, but he pulls out a uh, block just in time, so he's not going to get fully blown up there. That was... Incredibly scary. I, I don't know. I don't know what these players are thinking. They're they're doing like third level reads, and when they should be going for second level reads. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, oh my god! that uh, rush. Uh, ah, again, that's yeah. the, the third, what, third time he's tried that. Yeah, you just you just have to start with the flurry rush to be able to keep them on the ground, and then use the mono rush to finish them off. But it's not quite happening. Oh, nice, nice. That's yeah, good third move there. Point blank. Oh my god, this is. Th these are some crazy, crazy games right now. I mean, um. Just so many missed opportunities. I, I think they're both starting to feel like the serious pressure. Yeah. I know that Hess for sure is one of those players that like once he gets tilted, it's hard for him to get back to like that even to the zen right. space, you know? And then he starts playing some crazy like bat gaming game, you know, where like the, the pieces are all reversed or something. Alright, Arms looking a little bit weak, but he's still gonna continue on that aggression. Just deflecting that ice dragon perfectly, just knows how to avoid that zoning option. Oop, the rush comes out. That was actually pretty unfortunate. So when rush yeah. happens, you know, your arm size goes up one. But <laughs> his medium arms were already able to deflect the one Biffler. So he was just able to get out of that situation just fine. Ooh, there oh, you go. good yep. punish. Pulls out his arm. Yeah, there that's what go. I was there looking for. Go, yeah, go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that damage in there, boy. Yep. Get that damage in there. All right, finally uh, figured out how to connect that rush properly. Soon, Twin will have his own rush available, so has to do as much as he possibly can before that happens. Yeah, that patience though, just waited for that uh, bounce that yeah. Lollipop does when she guards in the air, and then or dashes in the air rather, and was able to get a, a little bit of extra damage. Sometimes you got to be two steps ahead of your opponent to be able to find where they're gonna go. Oh, nice! I don't know if it's gonna reach. It definitely won't. But yeah. I mean, it's uh. Oh, okay. Got a little bit of damage there. You know yeah. what we were saying? Got the knockdown. That's pretty big too. Oh, but <laughs> not able to quite connect that, and the Biffler is going to go first. Right, can, we, can we see something here? Hess right. is down a little bit, but he can definitely make it in 10 seconds, but he has to be wary because that rush will wreck him. Yeah. Oh, he's just going to go for yeah, go for rush in case he goes for grab. He's not able to get that. anything, yeah. Oh, what a shame. All right. So, so we're looking at 2-1 right now. Twin 5-0. I yeah. mean... This is, this is pretty much what we were expecting, right? Super close games. Every round's been just down to the wire. And, uh, I mean, Twin, Twin is a, 
he's figured it out, you know. Yeah. He's figured out the rhythm to get in here to kind of put Hess, uh, put him on ice. Yep. And hopefully he can figure out something good here. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of him, what a, lot, what a lot matters is that if Hess gets his flow in the beginning of that round, then he's able to close it off pretty reliably. Yeah. But yeah. if he has to play catch up against Twin, then it's kind of hard for him to get that going. So a lot of it happens in the first 10 seconds, I feel. Right. Like, if you notice that once Twin is able to kind of knock him out of the way and put that space between them, Getting back in is very, very difficult for Hess. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's very difficult for anybody, to be honest, against that particular setup, against Lollipop, who has that defensive shield, comes out, throws some right in your face, and, you know, if you get hit, you're blind for, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. All right. Uh, but let's see their uh, problem for the next game here. Um, oh, this is this, – this, this has been a thing. I'm, my, you guys can tell you, my heart is racing right now. I love both these people. They're they're both really really good players, and they I I, I want to if we can perfect world they would both win. Yeah, everybody would win. Today. <laughs> but uh, fortunately not. Someone's gonna get beat. Ooh, oh, oh my God. God, the Ninjara today. This you is got, what I you was got saying. your wish, Yashoki. This is what I was saying. So Hess, he is I would say, and I've said this before, he's in the character crisis. He's played like 50 different characters in the past like year. Um, I don't know where Ninjara's at. So this is going to be a surprise to, uh, to me, but this might work out because yeah. it's very hard to hit. And already he's looking pretty good. I mean, you know, first couple hits in, but you know, I, I can already tell the movements there. And uh, you know, he's able to avoid a lot of damage here. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure Koo's looking, he's watching, you know, just from up above. Yeah. <laughs> in his, uh, in his uh, ivory Japanese tower. Yeah. I mean, Ninjara did win uh, EVO 2018 yes, yes, against Twin 5 specifically. But the problem is, is that not many Ninjars can replicate the playstyle that Ku can do that's able to make him play so effectively. He's a very hard character to master because you have to be very good on your aggression. I don't think he's going to be able to connect that rush from that far away. Nope. Definitely. Like, what are you doing, Hess? Come on. You got yeah. this. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, one thing that... Uh, they can do, or excuse me, Ninjars can do, is that while they're in block, they just teleport away. Oh, but the hit confirm into that rush. That'd be a lot of solid damage. Ooh, and the extra 20 right there. Yeah, that's the top it off. He was really high up in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, instead of being in block stun, you can uh, you can teleport instead. And, uh, what it looks like he was trying to go for, but uh, Twin just looks like he's too used to that matchup, maybe. I mean, I mean he, he did have he to play Ku like three times at Evo. Like literally the best Ninjar in the world. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying Hess can't do it, right? But is he at, is he at cool level? Yeah, right? exactly. I hope. That, uh, one thing I hope is that I just hope that Hess is not regretting this choice, because then that could just like tilt him and then like bring it down on the game. You know, 100%. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, this is. I mean, right now he is literally on, literally on match point, right? So he has to. Okay, here we go. okay. Good rush. Good rush. Yeah. Some solid damage there. You know, it's gonna evening it up. Uh, don't know about that grab. I guess he's maybe trying to build a little bit of a. Uh, a meter there. Yeah, while he was on the knockdown. Uh, you know, I don't think his arms are a good idea either against. Uh, against I feel uh, like uh, I feel like they're just a little bit too slow for the Biffler uh, and the different options that Twin 5 has. Yeah. But you so, know, maybe he's trying to catch him with the grenade or the the explosions or something. But it's not quite working so oh, far. Oh no, so close. That's gonna be. Oh no. Oh my God. One the, more hit. That's yeah, the magic hit. pixel. Oh, he breaks the. Oh my God. Right okay, there. Freeze, freeze. Can you get the grab? Not able to find the follow-up. Oh, dodges Ooh, the ice dragon. That's that's how you play. That's how you play some ninja right there. Yep. Ooh, just, oh, just oh, nowhere to go off of that, and Ooh. there's nothing he could have done about that. This is as he was landing down. I'm sure he just knew that. So he was gonna get swept up. 